This one's iOS 11.0.3, this one's iOS 11.1. The main change is that Apple's reintroduced the 3D touch and drag to go into a different app, and then you can double 3D touch to go into multitask. They have also fixed the 3D touch lag, so now 3D touch is faster on iOS 11.1 than it was on iOS 11.0.3. When sliding into the camera, it is now a new animation. So now instead of just sliding over into the camera, now it has more of an effect where it is coming in from the back and then sliding in on the camera. Tap on the status bar. Now it slows down a little before it reaches the top. Apple has also introduced some new emojis. Over 70. Now if you're typing a message and you get an emoji suggestion, you will also have three instead of just one. Some changes have been made to readability. You can now activate notifications again from it. And also the background when using readability is now more of a blurred version of your background instead of just being like it was before. Some changes have also been made to assistive touch. Now the now you have this custom accent section where you can customize what it says when you 3D touch it, long press it, double tap, or single tap. Before you had to have it so that single tapping it could open the menu. Now you can also do pass through app. There's all of these different options. Now when you open it, open near where you opened it instead of just opening in the center of the display. There are some new icons for Siri, home, and um, gestures. There has also been some security fixes, so the Wi-Fi bypass has been fixed. The iBooks icons have been updated. The text box and the emergency button have also been swapped on the password unlock screen. New animation for opening a notification.